my name is Miranda Stanglin and I'm a mathematician. And this is how to use matrices to solve linear equations. First off, I have my first example over here to my right. Um, I have two different equations. You can see them here and here. And I also have a sample matrix over here to my right. A matrix is essentially a way of organizing information from linear equations. We put all of the, the numbers that are in front of the X in a column here, and we put all of the numbers that are in front of the Y's in a column here. We also move any constant, which is a number that has no variable attached to it, to the last column, and we used a, dot, a dashed line here to represent that those don't change. Um, so we're gonna take this example problem here and we're gonna work through it. There's a lot of steps. So the first step is make sure that all of your constants are on the right side of the equal sign. If I look at this first equation, we're going to call it equation 1 and this one equation 2. So in our first equation, you can see that 19 has no variables attached to it, so we're going to want to move it to the other side right away. So we're going to rewrite that top problem, so equation 1 is going to become 3x plus y. And the way that we move 19 to the other side is to add 19 to both sides of the equal sign. So we add 19 to the other side. 19 plus 1 gives me 20 on the other side. So now I have equation 1 at 3x plus y equals 20. The second equation has not changed, so it's going to be 4x minus y is equal to 8. Once we have this in the form, you can see that the x's are kind of lined up and that the y's are also lined up, and our constants on the right side of the equal sign are lined up as well. So we go to put this in a matrix form. Matrices are just, we just kind of put these lines here on both sides, and we put equation 1 and equation 2 in it. But we don't bring the variables, we only bring the numbers. So this becomes 3, and because there's no number in front of the y, you assume that it's a 1. So we put a 1 there, we put our dash, and then we put the constant, 20. Um, for the second equation, it's a 4 in front of the x, a minus 1, the signs always travel, so it's a minus 1 for the y, and an 8 for the constant. So what we want to do now that it's in matrices form is to get one of the columns to zero out. And what a zero out means, when I add the two um, rows together, one of these columns is going to equal zero. So I can right away see that if I add 3 to 4, it's going to be 7. So that's not going to give me a zero very quickly. If I add 1 to minus 1, I get zero right away. So I create another matrix box, and I'm going to leave the top row the same. I'm not going to change it. It's going to be 3, 1, and the constant's going to stay the same. But now with my second row, I'm going to actually add the two numbers and create a new second equation. So 4 plus 3 will give me 7. Minus 1 plus 1 will give me 0. 8 plus 20 is going to give me 28. Now that I have a 0 in a column, that means that I can easily solve my equation. Because the 7 here represents the x value, I can rewrite this bottom line as 7x plus 0y, because there's no y's anymore, so that pretty much cancels out, is equal to 20. Um, then to get x by itself, I simply have to just divide by 7, divide by 7, x is equal to 4. So now I've just solved the bottom equation, I'm able to have an x value so I can put my x value in and solve for y. So I know that um, I can pick any of these equations that we have up here. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one right here. And I'm going to say that 4x minus y is equal to 8. 
And if I use x equal to 4, then I can solve for y. So 4 times 4 minus y is equal to 8. So that's 16 minus y is equal to 8. I subtract 16 from both sides. I get minus y is equal to a minus 8. And then I divide by a negative 1 to get y by itself, and it becomes a positive 8. So the solution to this linear equation is that x equals 4 and y equals 8. This has been a little bit about how to use matrices to solve linear equations.